Uh, the next item is a discussion to review a proposed dedication of land adjacent to Woodford Green subdivision to the town of Webster. Who is leading this? Is it? Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. Come on up. <laughs> Road and Salt Road, and it's a proposed two lot subdivision. The intention is to have Megan and Matt purchase lot one, which would contain a bit of a site plan for a single family residence on the parcel. The second proposed lot two um, is intended, it's owned by John Naka currently, the entire parcel, and it's intended to be dedicated to the town of Webster. So we're here tonight to request approval for dedication. We previously were at the September 7th planning board meeting where they wrote a referral letter in support of the dedication. And the parcel area to be dedicated is approximately 10 acres. It's contiguous with several other properties already owned by the town of Webster. I have several visual references if you'd like to see them. Well, I think what? I do not think the planning board <coughs> referral letter is in our packet. I have a copy of that too if you'd like to read it. And, and I think I have a sneaky suspicion I know why it's not. Because I think it fell into the abyss on my desk. But I gotta say, Nia Culpa, I think this is my fault that that letter is not in the copy of the new package. That's uh, I'm just trying to think. Uh, I can bring I've got one too if you want to look at it. Did you have to? Yeah. Okay. Here. Uh, so Tony. process and just creating a subdivision. By having a 10-foot wide strip for ingress, egress, and utility, it would be a much more fair tax assessment for that, for his tax credit that he would receive. It's a unique parcel, kind of off the primary subdivision, and there's no access for, for a residence for a single family home where if it were dedicated to the town of Webster, there's several contiguous parcels owned by the town that also have access to public records. Yeah, I just don't know. That we refer to Barry as far as giving up. Josh, how far is this from the stub road on Chigwell to the parcel we just received and purchased? Which was that's the north side of the development? That's on the north side of the development. I can show you a picture of that if you'd like to see it. It's in, it's in here, isn't it? No. But I have a whole yeah, wall. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, it's really in there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This is it, right? That's correct. Yeah. So there's actually oh three separate um, adjoining properties that have this access to a public right away. And one of them is the Stub Street <coughs> on the north side of Chigwell Lane North. That parcel was just recently conveyed to the town of Webster as well. Is that 
Phil was the date. The letter that Tony shot you from the planning board has is it's tabled until October 19th. Is there a planning board meeting on the 19th? Yes. Okay. Uh, I wish Charlie Janessi was here tonight. Um, our town attorney, because I don't know. I would wait till you come to see Yeah, I, I'm not really sure of the procedural. Uh, I want to make sure you get to the 19th with some, with the planning board, with some uh, clarity. Uh, I will tell you this, and uh, Brian, uh, I take it Mr. Naka, Attorney Naka is not here tonight? I don't believe so, no. Okay. This is an interesting story because this 13 acres, of which Salamanos, you guys bought, I guess, three of it approximately from Mr. Knack. In the process. Now yeah. he wants to donate the 10 to the town. Attorney Naka, Mr. Naka, called me and said, hey, uh, this is about two months ago. I got to donate this 10 acres to the town because uh, I bought this 13 acres six, seven years ago from somebody, <coughs> and they said, hey, Ten of those acres someday you're going to have to donate to the town because that's what the town, when the subdivision was built, said. And I said to Mr. Naka, because he's not just your regular guy off the street, he's an attorney. I said, well, that's interesting. I mean, I, I would imagine that they would have taken title to the, to the land back whenever the subdivision was built, not some, hey, in the future you're going to have to donate it. Because have you ever heard anything like that? No. No. So, and Mr. Knapp's a really nice guy, so we went back and forth on the phone, and he pulled the title report, and we went to the planning board minutes and the town board minutes, and we're like, there is no documentation in the town records of any such schematic promise, whatever, of donating the land. I mean, it's like 30 years ago, right, Bill? I mean, it was before I was So, I like a good mystery. Right? So I'm like, there's got to be something to this, right? And Josh, I don't know if it was you or Mary or somebody found that the planning board 30 years ago when they approved the subdivision had X amount of acres that were going to be green space. And right now the amount of green space in that subdivision is X minus 10 acres. Isn't that interesting? Sounds like it's this 10 acres, but there's nothing that ties that in, you know what I mean, overtly in writing. So, that's the story. Now, whether that has anything to do with the price of tea in China today, uh, I don't know, but um, I know Mary and Josh, you've looked at this schematic as far as the layout, and they've had comments. I think PRC has had comments, right? <coughs> But as far as the town, oh, oh, the veterans are in conversation over here. I have one more comment to that as well. There's, there's another parcel just north of ours, uh, 1486 Chickwell Lane North, that based on their lot configuration would be identical to what we're proposing. There's a, it almost looks like a flag lot just north of our parcel. And there, the lands behind that residence, those are all owned by the town of Webster as well. And it seems, from my perspective, that that parcel was cut out from a larger piece of that original subdivision. So, Mary, thank you. Yeah, if I can make one comment, there is an existing storm sewer that goes back there, and there's a stub of sanitary sewer. Um, so. I believe the town would want to maintain easements. We have easement over it now, and I don't see why we would abandon those utility easements. Um, I won't speak to access easement to that potential second lot, but I think utility easements are, are necessary to keep. Thank you, sir. I absolutely agree with the existing network. So, you know, my question. I'm not going to call it Yeah. 
And I mean, and I'm glad we got a lot of people in the room tonight. I hope a lot of people are watching. Um, hey. Speak up. This is not administrative uh, action on the subdivision. This is actually going to the planning board. Is that correct? Correct. Well, I'll take tables it and refer it to the town board. <laughs> so we're going to. Yeah, no, um, okay. Um, how, how do you, how do you, how do you support a field about abandoning a utility easement? No, I'm not sure of that at all. Can I elaborate on that a little bit more? Sure. There's there's easements in place right now that cover the utilities for storm, sewer, and sanitary. We're not proposing to abandon any of those. We were going to file a new ingress, egress, and utility easement for the purpose of having access to Lot 2 from that Chigwell Lane North. Upon dedication, that easement would be released, and that would give fair tax credit to John Nanda for Lot 2 for dedicating that property. So it wouldn't impact anything existing today as far as easements for sanitary sewers or stormwater. Storm gotcha. Well, <laughs> I, it, it's kind of funny. I agree with Bill. I think there is, you know, I don't want to do this. One board is throwing it back to the other board and then, you know, play that game. Um, and it is kind of funny. I sit here and I say, this has a feel of like, is the town looking to give horse in the mouth? We get a chance to get 10 acres of green space. It's going to be green space no matter what. It has been green space for 30 years. Um, but I, 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 I like what you say, Bill, because there's just something, and I go back, and I hope you understand, Mr. Salamano. Like I said, if John Naka was any other profession, and I've said this to him, but an attorney, then if he tells me that story that he bought land six, seven years ago, and well, I, you know, I was told that I, I got to donate some of the eventually to the town, I would say, well, you know, that's, you know, but he's an attorney. And I just, that struck me as odd, and it kind of makes me think in our position, we need to measure twice and cut once on this. So I want to make sure we do it the right way. I want to get it self-divided. Let you know? the owner of Lot 2 come in and dedicate it to it. That, that seems like a reasonable, thing to do. Mm -hmm. That creates problems uh, with the county for access to a public right away. I spoke with Tim Murphy and Greg Bly, the director of the property and the county surveyor. Uh, to file a subdivision, you have to have access to the right away. So the only way that they're okay to dedicate the property to the town of Usher is if it happened upon subdivision of the property. So you have to have the dedication accepted and then we can file our subdivision map for the county. So that's got our variable why we're here, except you know, requesting this tonight. Okay. Remember at the beginning I said I love workshops because they're a lot less formal? It's getting pretty formal. I know Tim Murphy, I'd love to have him here. October 19th is what the letter says. You know that, right? The next five planning board, right? Correct, yes. The next town board meeting is October 7th. Let's see if we can get an actionable thing on this by October 2nd, 7th from this board. It doesn't hold up anything for the Salamanos or NACA for what already is a, a, a October 19th on the planning board. Does that seem like reasonable so that we can go back and just corroborate with Tim Murphy and all that? The sequence, sequence is we need to dedicate for that easement stuff that you just described. It's got to happen first and all that. Sir, does that seem logical? Can I ask a question? Yeah. Why, do, why, do you, why do you need a 60 foot right away to the to Chigwell Lane from Lot 1? So that's. You could put two, you could put a 30 foot and a 20 foot. Two separate times to that road, and then lot two would have an access. You could, I'd have to check the zone for that to make sure that's allowable. Um, I can certainly check that and speak with the client on that. 
And that would, that would accomplish what you're trying to do. Mary, you should check into that. If, if the town was interested in having another access through that flag, um, you know, that, that may be a possibility. That's what, that's what it comes down to. But our thought was that Lot 2 was going to be dedicated to the town, you know, is what we, our hope was. And then they would have access through the other surrounding properties also owned by the town. Okay. Yeah. So, because the agenda item of discussion to review a proposed dedication of land, we've had a discussion. I don't think we're adverse to taking land, but on October seventh, we'll do some actionable thing in the dedication sure. that will dovetail to the, the planning board's nineteenth. So there's no loss of time. Unless something comes up between now and the seventh in the fact pattern that you know makes this not a good thing for the town. And just like I said, I'm glad a lot of people are here tonight and I hope people are watching at home. Uh, on one hand, a couple of years ago when I was a citizen and not in government, I'd be watching and saying, what the freak is the town board looking to give to us in the mouth, take the ten acres? Well, now in the last two years, been the, the supervisor, the town is going to spend in 20 and 21 a quarter million dollars to take down ash trees on mm -hmm. land that we own. Is that correct, Paul? That is correct, town. So there is a liability to the town owning land, and there is a process and due diligence that I think you know. I hope the citizens appreciate the town government doing it on something. Like and I love customer service, and the beauty of this plan is I don't think it holds up anything for you guys because it's it was, it's it's hitting the planning board on its 19th no matter what. So sound good? Is that anything you'd like to see from me in the meantime or request? I wouldn't know what to ask, but in the next couple of days, I bet you Mary and Josh and Bill and the people who you know I depend on for that type of uh, you know specificity. Maybe we'll have a list. Okay. All right. 